Welcome to Learning Simulation Engineering. In the previous video, we have discussed about the pressure uh, transmitter electronic components. So, how does the transmitter uh, electronic board, uh, that's a smart microprocessor based PCB, and the sensor go integrated uh, between them? And how is the um, process flange uh, gets connected in the uh, transmitter body? And what are different types of housing available? How is the front and rear transmitter? Uh, housing view uh, uh, has been discussed so if you haven't watched those video just I'll copy paste the um, link in the description and you can watch it later okay in today's video we're going to discuss about the uh, remote seal type transmitter until now we have discussed transmitter which is based purely on impulse tubing that is you have a piping and you have process uh, fluid which is having some pressure and temperature and it may be in a hazardous or toxic uh, process fluid and uh, you are taking a very big risk in taking the uh, process fluid from the piping through this impulse tubing and it enters into transmitter so the risk associated is very high uh, for example if you have the process which is very viscous and it's very difficult to bring the trans uh, the process fluid from the piping to the uh, transmitter through the impulse tubing so that is why we are using the remote seal type transmitter so before going to that, I will explain you the different types of meter body available for the transmitter. This is basically the pressure transmitter uh, housing. The top we have the electronic uh, assembly, the transmitter housing and electronics are available in the top. And uh, you can see that there are four different types of uh, transmitter body available. One is different pressure transmitter. It has uh, high P and LP leg. And the next is the gauge and the absolute pressure transmitter so you have only one tapping over there and the bottom of that you could see a flange type in the left side you can see the flange motor that's for mainly measuring the liquid level and it doesn't have any uh, impulse tubing and in the right bottom you could see the remote seals you could see the high pressure low pressure tubing has been replaced with diaphragm and the catheter tube so this is how the remote seal transmitter body looks. Okay, first of all, we should have to understand what is the uh, importance of this um, remote seal. The process fluid which enters the body of the pressure transmitter may be very hazard or toxic or poisonous or it may have high temperature or the chemical property is very um, hazardous or it may be a viscous fluid. So that will go and plug the pressure sensor. Considering these reasons, the impulse tubing cannot uh, be adequate or sufficient to measure the pressure. So we have to go to a remote seal techniques. We have two different types of remote seal techniques over here. One is for chemical seal and other is for remote seal. Basically chemical seals essentially are local diaphragm protectors that is directly connected to the process piping. If you have any uh, hazardous chemical tank or hazardous fluid tank you have a level transmitter it basically it measures the pressure it is directly installed as a uh, diaphragm type in the tank without in tubing so this is this is the main application of a chemical seal and what about the remote seal they are remotely located diaphragm protector installed at the process piping and connected to a transmitter to a capillary tubing let's see the chemical seal a diaphragm see this is the uh, diagram of a diaphragm seal you could see over here the diaphragm is located in the center part that is it is sandwiched between the process connection in the bottom and the pressure sensor in the top so this is how a uh, chemical seal diaphragm transmitter looks the upper housing contains a fill fluid it may be a silicone or instrument oil so that acts as a hydraulic medium to transfer the pressure signal the lower housing designed to adapt the process connection and it contains the process fluid basically so when the process pressure is applied in the bottom of the process connection side of the diaphragm an equal pressure is exerted on the instrument side of the uh, diaphragm and it gets uh, communicated to the pressure sensor so this is how a chemical seal diaphragm works and next is the remote seal type uh, transmitter you can see over here if you want to measure any flow or even a pressure you can use this remote seal 
basically this is a differential pressure remote seal type transmitter you could see instead of the process flange hp and lp it has been replaced by a seal diaphragm hp and lp that's why we have two seal diaphragm over here and uh, this we have a sensing diaphragm and we have a capillary tube that connects between the uh, transmitter electronics and the sensor port the capillary is over here what you're seeing is uh, basically all mode covered and that's for any physical protection and to inhibit any corrosion the seal element the capillaries and transmitter bodies are filled with the fluid such as silicon water sometimes glycol and uh, sometimes it's a, a fluoro lube or any other specialty uh, liquids record as per the application so this is how the remote seal uh, type transmitters are available basically it has for both chemical and uh, high viscous fluid okay guys today I have seen a uh, different uh, seal techniques used in a pressure transmitter uh, basically chemical seal and the remote seal and we have seen the construction of both the diaphragm seals and how it gets connected to the transmitter electronics and i hope this video is very useful to you if you like this video just hit the like button and share to instrument community and if you want to watch such inspiration videos you can subscribe to our channel learn instrumentation engineering thank you